In this clip, I will explain how the experiment menu of the swap interface works so that you can open and save your first experiment. If you have started swap, it will open within a new tab of your active internet browser. To use the full screen mode, press F11. In the upper left side of the screen, you will find the experiment menu. Here, you can manage your experiments and close swap by selecting exit. I would like to start a new experiment based on the predefined experiment, experiment 1. I need to select experiment, which will open the drop-down menu. Here you can find all the buttons that are related to managing your experiments. Since there is currently no experiment open, only the button open is visible. Select Open and choose Experiment 1. The default experiments that are available to you here will depend on which swap package you have. After opening an experiment, the graphical interface changes. The input and output menu appears on the right side of the screen. These menus are further explained in their own clips. On the left side of your screen, you will find the Help button. Pressing this button provides you with help on the part of swap that you are working on. Below Open Experiments, we see from the radio button list given here that the experiment, Experiment 1 Copy, is selected. As you can see by the name, the experiment is a copy of the predefined version. I advise you to give the experiment a logical name by using the name of some of the settings you used in the experiment. In order to do this, you need to open the drop-down menu, Experiment. We already have an experiment open, so you see more buttons here than what you saw before. To rename this experiment, select Rename. At the bottom of the experiment menu, you can type the new name of this experiment. I want to save the experiment using the name Control. Which now becomes visible in the list of open experiments. If you would like to do a sensitivity study, you are going to compare the control case with an experiment in which you change one single process or variable. To do this, you need to first clone this current experiment and then change one variable. To clone the control case, you need to open the drop-down menu, Experiment. Select Clone, Save As, and type Change 1. Now we can see that the experiment, Change 1, is active. All the options and variables on the right side of your screen are related to this experiment. In order to activate the experiment, Control, again, select Control. The drop-down menu, Experiment, has other buttons that are mostly self-explanatory. However, I would like to explain the difference between the buttons Close and Delete. The button Close closes the experiment and removes it from the list of open experiments. After closing and reopening Swap, you will be able to open this experiment again. Please do not confuse the button Close with the button Delete, which removes the entire experiment from your computer. This button only works for your own experiments. The default experiments within the program luckily cannot be removed from the graphical interface. Notice that once you have opened and saved your own experiment, the options available to you after you select Open change. You can open your own experiment by selecting Own Experiments. Now you should be familiar with the options related to the experiment menu. 
In the next clip, I will explain some of the basic things about the input menu on the right side of your screen, so you can adjust experiments according to your own interests.